How's it going guys? Dre here and welcome back to Gold Rush. Today is moving day. We're gonna go over to Rivertown and I've actually already transported the vast majority of our stuff over to there. So say goodbye to old Arnold. It was fun here, but I'm excited to get to the new area. Now we're currently at 200 grand, so I think I am gonna buy some of the upgrades as well. I wanna get that dump truck, for example, uh, to see what we can do with that. And then we have two more pieces of equipment that we have to get over there. So I just transported all the stuff. I didn't realize, but on this computer, you can transport stuff too. So we unlocked that. That was three grand. I also got a new worker. We got Melvin and Elvin now. Melvin and Elvin. I didn't even realize their names rhymed. Uh, Melvin was the first guy we got. His work percentage is only 28. Uh, Elvin's actually earning me a lot of money. If you watch in the top... All right, you can see my ounces of gold slowly going up throughout the day, so at least we know that's working now. Uh, and I will be earning some gold via them, still at this site, so that's good. But aside from that, I don't think we'll be seeing this site again, so I'm gonna have to... Oh, man, I have to do so much traveling today. Like, this is not gonna all fit in one load. There's no way... That I, it's impossible because I have three trailers I have to move. Actually, four, right? Because we have the, the old gold thing, we have our large trailer, we have the... Uh, Magnetite separator thing and then our gas canister as well. So oh my god, that's four trips alone I really wish you could transport this stuff Hold on to her. Oh god. Okay. This is this is this I'm getting too cocky with this truck and uh, One of these days. I'm actually gonna get it stuck somewhere. Thankfully you can reset them But I'd have to reset it all the way back at the mine site. So we're back here I just want to see first of all how much it's gonna cost me to buy all three of these things because uh, I think it's gonna be more than 200 grand. I think this is 150 alone, isn't it? Yeah, wow, okay, hopefully, I don't think these things are cheap, but uh, 15, actually, that's not, okay, never mind. I think I count, no, okay, that one's only 15. 120 for a conveyor belt, my god. All right, you know what? I'm probably gonna need the dump truck, but I'm actually thinking now I kind of want to buy these things because I want to have the perfect setup. So we're gonna add this to our cart. We're gonna add the conveyor belt to our cart, and we're probably gonna go in the red today because, uh, yeah, I'm still paying off that loan too. This isn't a smart investment, but I want to experience it. I want to see what this thing's all about because we haven't seen it yet. So we're gonna check out that. And, uh, yeah, 135 grand, no big deal, guys. We're, uh, we're gold miners. We're professional at doing this. Uh, machine has been automatically transported to your nearest storage space, yada, yada, yada. Okay, we need to transport that. That's gonna cost us more money. Uh, so conveyor belt, yes, and then the conveyor belt. Conveyor belts in conveyor belt. That's confusing. All right, now we seriously need to earn some money quickly, because we only got 62 grand to our name. That sounds like a lot, but when you're losing 12 grand a day, it's not gonna take that long. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. Okay, we're just gonna go this way, gas tank. All right, and I never really showed you this area. It's actually, it takes a while to get to the new site, but uh, the scenery is amazing. There's a lot of old abandoned buildings and everything. It feels like a mining location, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like a ghost town at this point. And uh, there's just me out here trying to still make our money off of it. Oh my god. But yeah, like right here, I, I feel like I'm either in a horror game or a gold mining game. Like, look at this. That is amazing to me. I love the attention to detail of this map. All right, and here we are. Why is my gas can floating? Oh, okay. We clearly had some space issues. Uh, I hope that's not broken. Let's try and uh, rearrange this. So I guess the problem is the... Uh, Excavator doesn't rotate when you transfer it, so uh Oh, this is this is this is gonna be fun. This could either end badly or great, so let's just uh, uh oh we're just gonna rotate this. Can I raise it a little bit more? How am I supposed to get this I right, I'm gonna have to reset it, aren't I? Oh god, this is really screwed up. Alright, we're just gonna back this thing out and try and possibly reset it. I can't lose this, this is an expensive piece of machinery. Both of these things are actually. All right, we straightened it out, so I think if we reset it now... Oh, I'm so used to going to the old place. All right, we got to reset the big excavator. That's going to fix that? What the heck is going on? Oh, God. Okay, clearly I have too many pieces of items. Because, uh... Yeah, oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Where'd my... Where'd it go? Uh-oh. Did I lose it? I Oh, no, I, I think it's over here. Okay, we'll deal with this later. I have a lot to deal with today, obviously. <laughs> all right, we got another load here. Now, this isn't gonna go bad at all, guys. I mean, 
Look at this. Did I did I overpack or already things are falling off? Great. Good start. Good start. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go nice and slow. This is actually kind of working, though. This is surprising to me. We got the vast majority of the stuff here, but as you can see in the background, there's still a lot to grab. I don't think we'll grab everything, though. I just want to... I'm going to slowly set things up as we go, and we'll just grab what we need. The vast majority of the stuff is stuff I know we'll need, though. So, uh, yeah, making our way over again. Almost the end of the first day here, and we're only two trips in. So this is, man, transferring stuff in this game, always fun. Always a blast. Oh, my God. Come on, you can make a trailer. I mean, really, we have a bulldozer. Couldn't we build some sort of better trail to my place? <laughs> Oh, it's almost nighttime already. This is driving me nuts. But we did make it back with, it looks like most of the stuff. Some stuff definitely did fall out, though. But we're back here, so I got to figure out. This is a much tighter place. That's what I'm quickly realizing. So I got to figure out where to store everything so it's out of the way. I guess we do have this storage shed here, so we should probably use it. All right, and that only took me two hours. That was great. Okay, that one actually went really well. Now I got some bad news. I still have my floating generator over there. Okay, that one broke. I don't know where it went. Doesn't matter. We don't need it anymore anyways. I have set up, I think, the whole operation, so that's obviously good. But, like I said, we got some bad news. This thing over here, the generator that I need, it doesn't want to budge. It doesn't want to move. It is seriously glitched out. I even tried transferring it to the old Arnold par parcel as well as to the storage and see if we can transfer it back and it's still stuck in the air. I tried attaching a rope to it thinking it may reset and go to the ground. That didn't work either. So this thing, I think this thing is totally gone, guys. Like this is, this is a junker at this point. I can't get it off of the air. And as you can see, my money situation isn't that good either. So I think I don't really have a choice but to possibly do the gold sheet again to earn some money so we can buy another one of these and then just put this broken one into storage. I also almost lost my shaker, by the way. That thing I was able to get back. It was in the woods somewhere. It flew off. I mean, it, this, this game does have some wonkiness to it. So yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do. We don't really have a choice. Uh, I need to go get some more gold and buy that generator. But also, I noticed something else. I was exploring the mountains over here, and uh, over here, hidden in the woods, we got, uh, well, first of all, a porta potty, but we also got a second duplex jig. Now, I don't know if this is just for visual or if I can actually use this. I might try and bring my truck up and see if we can pull it down later, but for right now, it's not going to be easy to even get up here. Like, this is a walking path. So I, I'm thinking that's totally visual, but I thought I'd show you guys that anyways, because I thought that was pretty cool. But yeah, all the big stuff is set up, as you can see. And this new stuff, it's actually pretty cool. So we don't need to go up here and drop dirt into this anymore. If you remember, that's how we used to do it. We go over here, and it picks up everything right here. So it's got the conveyor belt. It goes up, and we just got to pour everything inside here. Which means, as you can see, we are nice and close to the dirt. So I think this, this upgrade is going to be definitely worth it. So let's go see. Hopefully buying a new generator uh, fixes this problem, because if it doesn't, uh, we might be in trouble here, guys. Uh... Uh, no! What the frig? What? My hood! What happened to my <laughs> Oh, God. This, this, this mine site might be the death of me, guys. This, okay, well, I guess we have no hood on our truck now. <laughs> All right, well, that was an event. Let's, uh quickly do this before something else breaks as well. This is the episode of breakages. Now, I'm going to transport over the bad one. We want to get rid of big power. Let's actually transfer that to the old Arnold parcel so we never have to deal with it again. That's going to cost me $2,000 alone just to transfer it there. Now, that's going to get that out of the way. We're going to buy another one here. And that's $69,000, so we do have $200,000 right now. So we are a little bit safe, which is good. Uh, keep in mind, I do have to pay my employees. Actually, they quit on me because I couldn't pay them. But uh, I have to pay my loan as well as when I rehire my employees, I do have to pay them. So we're not going to buy the dump truck just yet. Uh, let's buy the big power. And, oh, actually, that's going to be... Your machine has been automatically transferred to our nearest storage space. You can... Yeah. 
Oh, man, I shouldn't have done that. Actually, no, because I put it at the old Arnold Parcel. I know that that one's the bad one. And then the storage pace, yes, should have the big power. So we're going to move that over to Rivertown. And I just always like to try the duplex jig just to see if it works. This time it doesn't. Now, please tell me that this one isn't broken. Because if that's the case, we're good to go, guys. We just got to set up our power and water. And then we can start mining. All right. Oh, that's one downside. I have to refill the thing. But thank you. God, as you can see, it's ready to go. So that's really good. We're going to refill it up real quick. Uh, thankfully, we got a full tank here, so we should be able to refill it with just this. And finally, I think, I don't want to, you know, jinx anything, but I think we're ready to go. I just got to figure out where the water source is. I know I saw a river somewhere over here, so I don't think it's too far away. Uh, how do we refill this thing? I think it's right in the front here, if I remember. Is that a hole right there? That looks like a hole right there, so we should... Oh, God. Oh, God. Ha! Huh, ha! Huh, stop it. Always forget that damn parking brake. Now, where is... There's the hose. Now... Oh, wait. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, it just fell on the ground over here. It, like, flung away. All right, so we just gotta stick that in there, and now we refill and wait. All right, she's all filled. This thing's all empty, so I'm gonna have to refill this in a little bit here. Oh, a little bit of load screen there. Uh, I actually lost one of my cords, so I'm, I'm gonna risk it here and try and transfer, of course, the biggest object with only three cords. Uh, I don't think I see it anywhere. I, I know it broke somewhere around here. Doesn't really matter, though. The benefit of this thing is we don't need to do any precise moving. I just need to pick it up and bring it to the next area. So we're just gonna kind of bring it... Oh, man. Okay, that's actually as high as it can go. All right, we are somewhat good. Oh, God, I don't like that that thing spins. Please don't break my cords. That's all I ask. Let's just make our way. This is not this is not the way you're supposed to do this, guys. Let's be honest here. But as long as we get this thing close, I really don't care. I'm actually going to go put it down by uh, where everything else is because we're actually not going to be down here too much aside from when we just get gold. So this is actually really the perfect spot. So... We'll just kind of try and... Oh, God. All right, something like... Oh, yeah, that's actually good right there. So let's drop it off. Oh, it's a bit sideways. <laughs> this time, I don't care. It's already been two and a half hours of me trying to transfer this stuff. So, man, I did not expect that. It does take a long time to move your whole setup. And we're not even done yet. We still got to set up all our water stations and everything. So that's going to be fun. But at least we got everything here, so now we are good to go. Oh my god, I can't grab this thing. Uh, there we go. Oh, and I reattach it, of course. C come on! There's nothing more annoying than dealing with those hooks. Okay, so we can move this out of the way, and oh god, it's it's disattached. What the? What is the? What are you attached to? Oh no! Oh 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 oh! oh. Good enough. I don't care. All right, this shouldn't be too bad. Also, I didn't show you guys this, but I kind of organized even in here. So we need we need lots of power cords. Let's just take one of these. I don't want to... Okay, we're just going to knock them off anyways. Everything's going to be everywhere by the end of this. All right, so we want this connected to that. And then can we connect this? Does this take a big guy or a little guy? Uh, that's right, it does take a little guy. So there we go. That... Why is it already on? I didn't... What? I didn't turn this on yet. All right, we're going to stop that, but the well, at least we know it works, so that's good. At least we got that thing working. Uh, I think we need more power now, too. We got that thing over there, that thing over there, but also the new stuff takes power as well, so we might even need to go pick up some cords. All right, next up is a bigger one, though. I know we only had one small one before, so the next two are the big ones, and this... I went around the long way, didn't I? Hopefully this makes it... Where do I connect this? I forget. It's been a while, guys. Oh... Ah, it's actually right over here across this creepy, rickety bridge. Isn't that great? There we go. That one automatically turns on, too. So I guess we just got to turn these off. All right. Had to do a quick store trip because, uh, yeah, we need more power cords. We are getting a pretty serious setup here in terms of power. Now, I'm hoping these reach the next... Oh, God, that's too far away, isn't it? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, so now we just need to... Do we need to connect one to this? Yes, we do. Of course, it's even further. We might need to actually use the extension cord or the module that allows you to have two cords to one, but... Oh, yeah, that's right. I actually bought four cords. I got worried there for a second uh, that I didn't buy enough cords, but yeah, I still have two more, so we're, we're good. 
Uh, this should officially be all the power, assuming we can make it up this hill and not lose this cord. So come on, just gotta make it. Oh, this is bad. This, is, Yep, all right, I knew it. I think I got one of the power cord extensions here. I hope I do anyways. I know I put one on top of the roof. That's a little one. Oh, frig. I don't have one here. Ah, oh, man, this is this has been a rough episode. <laughs> it sucks because I gotta now drive for 15 minutes to go get on just that little thing. That's one. I mean, I mean, we're so damn close to it too. I could probably move the whole generator, but is it really worth? Yeah, you know what? Actually, hold on here. Hold on. Push it. Oh, that didn't even. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm just gonna do this right. Let's just go pick one up real quick. All right, back with another truckload. Now, uh, we're just gonna bring this right over here. Waste no time at all. And in here, we should have the thing I need, which is this. That's all I needed, and I had to go all the way back to get it. Oh, why are you, why are you doing this to me? All right, let's just put that inside there. Ah, I stored it away. That's right, so we are officially out of these power lines as well. Hopefully, we don't need another... Do we need another one? I'm trying to remember for the pump. I think we do need one for the pump, so we might need to go buy even some more. Ah! All right, but that's fine. It's okay, because everything is connected to electricity, at least. Now we just have to figure out the best way to do the water, which I think is probably this little river right beside my camper over here. I'm actually just going to park this over here. Because, uh, yeah, we got a river that's right over here. And then also a connection point. I actually think I'll probably, yeah, do it right here in this little spot because it looks like I can. And that's really close to my stuff. So, yeah, I gotta go find the pump with a filter on it. I know I have one here. Uh, actually, I guess I, well, I need the hose with the filter on it, which is right down there. Okay, so we just need this gener any generator we want. And then I guess we'll connect it to this, which it should go in the in. All right, that's the out, that's the in. There we go. And we got the filter, which we can put hopefully right into here. Now that should be good. I think that's, oh, didn't mean to take that off. Let's keep that on. Just make sure this is nice and deep in the water. Perfect. And yes, indeed, it is getting water. So uh, I was hoping actually, let's actually, yeah, let's pull this in a little further just to make sure we're utilizing as much space as possible. So. We're gonna need water actually up here, so let's just bring this kind of like over here. Actually, where is the majority of the water that we need? It's probably, oh God, I got stuck, didn't I? Oh my God, please let me, I'm stuck. I'm totally stuck, sweet. All right, we got the water flowing. Is that the only place I needed it? I thought I might have needed it in multiple places, but I actually, I guess that doesn't make sense because we don't need water here. It's just a conveyor belt and then it goes into the water, so I think I think we're finally ready to get mining. Let's uh, turn this on and make sure everything's green. But I think, oh my god. I think we did it. Start, start. Make sure, okay, it's really hard to see, man. All right, that one's on, that one's on. And then the duplex jig, there's nothing else. We don't have any smaller ones that we need. I guess that's it, all right. So everything looks like it's working. This is on, this is moving. Oh, this is so cool. So yeah, we are ready to go, ladies and gents. So we just put it in here and then let it do its thing. All right, of course, we can't forget to install the miner's moss. We don't want to lose any of that gold because we know how hard it is to obtain. Now, I was reading at the store these grates. I thought it was for later in the game, but I guess we are at the end game now. Uh, you put these over top the miner's moss so you don't lose anything. Uh, I don't know if there's a way to place it, but that's, oh, actually, I can see it, yep, there we go, okay, so we need three grates to put on top of these things, and I guess that catches even more gold, so you don't lose anything, so that's a good thing I read that, because we are losing some gold in not using these grates, but, uh, not anymore. All right, well, that should be good, let's actually, before we go, let's check if we can possibly put some miner's moss on the other one. I doubt it, because even on this one, there's not any stairs to get up there. I guess we can use this, though. Uh, but yeah, ooh, jeez, okay, I almost fell through the crack. Yeah, it's looking like, I. unfortunately, I still can't use this side for anything. So, I guess that's it. We are officially all set up to earn as much gold as possible. So, we're going to do a little bit of gold mining today. It's been a while for me, though, guys, so we're not going to do too much. Let's just see how this system works and see and make sure that everything is working right. 
All right, so we got the bulldozer. Jesus, okay, it's pretty rocky ground out here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Already making a muck of the place. I'm moving dirt unintentionally, but I'm going to use the front-end loader to try and move a big mound over because I do want to use... Or, sorry, I'm using the bulldozer because I do want to use the front-end loader. Uh, we're going to definitely probably use the excavator for doing most of this, but I just want to see if this is possible. So we're just going to kind of take our time here and try and build a big mound as close as possible. All right, there we go. You can see, though, the problem is the mounds don't go that high. They actually just digs downwards, it feels like, which doesn't really help my situation too much. All right, come on. Yeah. I mean, it can flatten ground quite good, but this isn't really making a mound. It's actually just digging out the ground for me and probably making this a bigger issue to deal with. So I think I'm done with the bulldozer. I don't, I don't like this thing. Now, some of the comments said I can make my own dirt to till, but I'm trying to use the back, and that is clearly not working. So, uh, that one's been busted. So, yeah, we're just going to stop the bulldozer. We're definitely going to have to get the dump truck because uh, I think that's where the money's going to be. And I'm not even going to use the front end loader. We're going to use the good old excavator here. I actually got to take off the cords. I forgot about that. Uh, because I want to actually dig into the ground. This is much easier to use. It just doesn't hold as much dirt. So, uh, I'm gonna see how good this thing is. Let's try it out. Uh, first of all, I gotta take these cords off, though, like I said. All right, we'll just keep them on the ground here. We'll clean up later. I actually did organize even more, and I'm pretty happy with my setup. Actually, yeah, you know what? Let's, let, let's be responsible here. Let's go put everything away, because I kind of want to show you guys everything. Look it. It's all organized. It looks great. I mean, the cords, I, I have a lot of extra hoses, clearly. Uh, I guess I have a lot of chains as well. I just did buy three more for some reason. Nothing wrong with stockpiling, I guess. Oh, there we go cords are already falling off the thing, so yeah, it's a constant issue trying to keep everything organized, but you know what? It's better than what I used to have. All right, so we're just going to go to the area where I already screwed it up so we can screw it up even more. I want to keep this as flat as possible, though, so we can actually get in there and dig later on, but uh, yeah, we'll try this out. There we go. First full bucket already set up, and uh, this is a lot easier. We just have to back up a little bit and rotate it. We're good to go. Now, obviously, the dump truck is what you want because you can dump the dirt right beside the excavator and then just slowly put it in without having to move like we did in the first episode. But we don't have enough money for the dump truck right now, so we're just going to have to deal with this. All right, let's just make sure we're all set up. I just want to go back and forth, basically, and have an assembly line of dirt. So that's good. We're here. And let her go. <laughs> and there it goes up. So... This is probably overkill, because I'm not going to be able to do too much dirt too quickly, but we can see how it works at least, and this is really cool. Scoop up another load. Oh, I missed this excavator. It's so, Honestly, it's so much better than the front-end loader. A lot of people were saying I was using the front-end loader wrong. I mean, there's no wrong way to do anything, and it's your way of doing it, but uh, yeah. Definitely prefer the excavator myself. Let's actually pull in this arm a little bit so we're not wasting any of the dirt. There we go. And let her through. I'm actually curious. I'm wondering if we could dump the dump truck right inside that thing, or if that would be way... That would probably be way too much dirt. But we could try it. When we do get the dump truck, I want to see if that's possible. I doubt it, though. Gotta say, this is a lot better than uh, trying to deal with uh, that hill on the last episode, though. This is uh, way more easier. All I gotta do is rotate my thing, go grab a bucket of dirt and put it back in. And we're earning gold, ladies and gentlemen, and probably lots of gold, because this is this is the ultimate setup. There's no better setup in the game for extraction just yet. Uh, the only thing we can upgrade right now is dirt output. So that's something we are definitely going to do in the very near future. I, I know they're supposed to un unlock a lot of new updates as well. This game is still not complete, by the way. They're, they're doing, uh, like, planned updates. Which is really cool. Usually, you know, simulation games like this, they release it and then it dies really quickly. So it's nice to see that a company's actually updating their simulation game. Because this is a good one, obviously. You guys like it. I love it as well. And I'm having a really fun time playing it. Alright, so I've done about uh, 10 loads or so. And uh, it's actually really cool because you can see it, the tension to detail in this is always awesome. You can actually see it fall out of the buckets. There's the first bucket. And I'm definitely not keeping this 100% going. I'm only getting, like, looks like four... Yeah, four buckets per load. So I definitely need to increase 
my dirt output. That's where the dump truck's gonna come in handy, obviously. But let's just go check. We did about 10 loads. Let's see how much dirt we got. So yeah, obviously there's not too much. Surprisingly enough, uh, those grates seem to really help because uh, we have more gold in the miner's moss now than we do in the buckets. Before it was the other way around. It was about half the gold in the miner's moss as compared to the buckets. Now it's reversed, so I'm definitely glad we bought those grates. Uh, they usually don't hold too much gold, but everything counts. Anyways, guys, we're gonna wrap it up here. I know we didn't do too much gold mining today. Definitely in the next episode will be a gold mining episode where we focus on just sheer output. Today was the moving day. It took way longer than expected. This was actually one of the longest recording sessions I've ever done for one video at about five and a half hours now. So, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna need a little break from Gold Rush myself. I hope you guys enjoyed this, though. I'm really excited to seriously get some gold on the ground in the next one. And yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, any tips or anything, feel free to put them down below because I do listen. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.